so here we have Polar Bear. Look my back nose in 1995 for the Crowd Glen Railway and the Isle of Man. We're currently raising steam on it for a day's work. And I'm just going to show you around a few of how we do things and the audience, audience points and such. So firstly this is just the cab. Take it around the other side. Here in the cab, you've got, it's fairly cramped, you've got reverser, two notches forward, two notches reverse, do it in neutral because we're raining the steam, regulator, we've got some mixed steam to the cylinders, lower valve, and then you've got steam for your right and left injectors as well as water for your injectors, handbrake, water level, and down there, drain cocks. A little, um, this uh, little lever that you pull up. And so, let's just put a check in here. So here we have fire. It's a little bit smoky because we're on house call today. Nice and hot. And we've got the press gauge up there and hopefully that'll start turning us. We've got some pressure in a minute. But while we're raising steam, we've got the noisy blower fan currently on. Which just sucks the um, smoke up the chimney. So while we're going, while we're raising steam, I'm just going to show you a few of the audio points. A trusty old hauling can. So first starting on top of the running board here, we have got you see the oil point here which goes to the um goes to the slide bars. Well just one of the things that just the slide bars. There's a few oil in points up here for the reversing gear and I've already done I've already done these. Pretty much the same on the other side. I don't think it's on the other side you've got the linkage to the reverse and lever. And the other thing in here is that you've got the eccentrics uh, for both sides, which sometimes you may forget are there because they're right in between the frames. Sometimes you get distracted with the outside motion. Then going on the floor, underneath the frames, we've got side bar controls, just put a little bit of oil on. Anyway, your tail end, which has a small oil clock there. Spell gear. Big end bearings, connecting rod bearings, long. And like I said, it's pretty much the same on the other side. And then back here, you've got the brake hangers. You've got the brake hangers on the wheels. And as you go past them, it's usually a good idea just to put a little drop of oil on each of them and put it on the other side. And you've got the brake screw itself here, which I'll just put a bit on there to lubricate it. And then it's pretty much so on the other side. And then the, uh, you've got the mechanical lubricator, which is in the front. So, mechanical lubricator. And there's this little flap here, in there. You've got a little cover, but that's already been done for me, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, that water's like so. Check that out, so. Yeah, that is pretty much it for lighting up for the all in round. And so then we just keep adding coal and wood to the fire, get it nice and hot and raisin stain 
And whilst, whilst we're in the cab, it's usually a good idea just to put a little bit on top of this brake, uh, the uh, brake collar, as well as a bit more reversing later. Dip it down there. And that's pretty much it for any the uh, in the cab. Put it on the other side. And then as well as all the other rolling points, you've got your axe boxes to do, which come down here for. But you, you we use a big oiling can for this. Poke your way out through the spokes in here. It's a bit difficult to see because my hand's going to be in the way. But you see there's a little box in there, and you open up, you lift up a little flap there, uh, shove your oil nozzle in there, and you just pump in some oil until it flows at the top. Pretty simple. But you've got to do them, there's one for each wheel. So you've got three on this side, three on the other side. I don't know what to do that, but you've got the pony with it. Yep. That's a bit of a time. So that's a bit of a time to get to. Yep.